What's up guys, it's Jack from Go Jack Outdoors. And today, we're, I took a couple weeks off filming and today we're gonna just do a full update and we're gonna give you just, we're gonna be all over the place. We're gonna give you a quail update, a Mr. Wilson the pig update. We're gonna, I'll talk about it here in a minute, but we're gonna do something else. Um, a lot of moms, I think moms especially have been asking me for a boot review and tell and just to tell you guys what kind of boots I wear and I am hard on boots so I can tell you um, what kind of boots to buy and what boots I like best so if you guys stay tuned to the end I'll give you a boot review of all the boots I wear so stay tuned and then we'll do that so let's get on to the video we're kind of filming this out of order. I think I lost some of my clips, so we're kind of filming this out of order. Some of you guys may know that we, a couple weeks ago, hatched out some quail in our incubator, and they are growing so fast. I know I said I would try to make a quail cage slash enclosure building video, but they're growing so fast, we just kind of threw this one together. But I'll still show you how I built it and what I used. So, come over here. I said we were filming this out of order. As you can see, we already cleaned out that part and um, it's all clean, which we'll jump back to here in a minute, as you'll see. But I'm gonna show you my quail enclosure real fast and my watering system and how I've been feeding them. So here my enclosure is. I think this used to be a rabbit enclosure. We got it from a friend. It was at his house when he moved in. But I cleaned it up and it, it's been working great. I put some tin on the roof. And then I got a kitty litter bucket. And I we zip tied it to the side and we put some PVC going all the way down, as you guys can see. And it has these little water poultry cups. You can find those on Amazon. They've been working really good. And then, here's my quail. I've, I've got them separated into two different ones. I think I have 22 of them. And then, we still have one extra one, so. Once they start laying eggs, I think I'm gonna hatch out another round of them. And then, we have these, this regular feeders in there. And then I'm, I'm thinking about um, building some automatic feeders. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. So I'll show you some of the quail, let me set you up. And we'll show you some of the quail. They're getting so big guys. I think when I was, I watched a video the other day that it takes them six weeks to start producing eggs. So I think they're about four weeks, four and a half weeks old. So they're gonna start laying eggs pretty soon. <coughs> Hi, go oh, Woody. So here's one of the qu bigger quail. This guy, look at his belly. I I believe this one's a male from the video I'm watching. Just l let me know if you guys have quail and you know anything about them. I don't really know how to tell, but what I think is, here, let me get what I think is a female. So, what I think is this one checkered belly. It has a checkered belly. I think that's a female. And these just solid red ones is a male. So that's what I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. But that's what I that's what I thought I saw off of videos. So just let me know if I'm wrong. Ooh. Let's take another good look at the quail. 
three new guys. And girls. Well, there's my coil enclosure. And as I said, we're filming this out of order. So here in a minute, I'll show you the clips of me cleaning out this when it was dirty. These quail poop so much. What? We're gonna have to scoop that out, bring the water hose over here, put it right there, and um, wash out that bucket, wash out the inside of that bucket, and then go dump it in the compost pile. So I'm gonna go get a bucket and a shovel, and I'll see you then. Got this all loaded up in the meal and over to my, well, I have other compost piles, but this is my chicken slash quail stuff. So you can tell this is a new stuff. Like this is a quail brooder chips. And then this is some old stuff. It's getting ready to get. So next year, this will all be ready. I've had this here for a while so, because last year um, my plants were all planted in soil and compost from this here pile. So I'm going to go ahead and open the tailgate and we're going to start, we're going to dump this out right here. One, two, three. Huh. Hard to do this with one hand. Got it. There you go. Yep, that'll be good stuff in about a year or two. Sorry. You can see all the feed they've wasted mixed in there. So, it'll go to good use next year. So, let's go on with our day. Now that we got that done, some of you guys may be wondering if we still have Wilson. Yes, we still have Wilson. There he is. He's getting pretty big. And for those of you that don't know who Wilson is, he was my show pig this year. And we've had him. We've been feeding him out since show season ended. So, look at it, 
<laughs> AJ likes Wilson digging holes. So, yes, we still have Wilson, and he does have a butcher date next week. And it's just going to be really hard. I knew this was going to happen from the start, and I knew it was going to be this hard. I found the mushrooms. Yeah. And it's just real sad. But I think Wilson lived a good life that not very many pigs get to live. So we had fun at our shows. We went and got to go to two shows. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay, buddy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you be careful, okay? Okay. That fence is pretty strong. It would... See? Yeah. Don't touch this. So after AJ falling off the fence, where was I? But me and Wilson had two shows we had real fun at. He did pretty good. I'm proud of him. So, and we had a lot of marshmallows and pea trees. So, this is the last time to say bye to Wilson. So, this will probably be the last time you see him. So, say your last goodbyes. So, now, let's get on to our boot. Boot. Boot review. Here's the boot review some of you guys have been waiting for. I got three different pairs of boots here that I've been wearing. First off, we're gonna start with these Old West cowboy boots. And I got these a couple, well, a while ago, and I wore them like once or twice. I think I wore them once to dinner and once to a pig show. And these boots, as soon as I got to wearing them, their soles started to pop off. It's not just like one of them ha just popped off because the glue was weak or something, but both of them did. So that's disappointing. So I probably wouldn't recommend these boots, um, but if you do buy these boots, I would recommend some shoe glue. So I'm gonna try to sh um, glue these back and see if it works, but so on to the next one. Now this one is probably my favorite boot out of all of these. These are muck boots. They're completely water resistant. I've never had leaks with any of them. This is actually my second pair of muck boots. And the other ones were just awesome. They're so durable. I never had any leaks with them. And they're just awesome. By the way, none of this is sponsored so I can give my honest opinion and I'm really hard on boots. So this is my second pair, and I absolutely love muck boots. Never had any leaks with them. Next ones are Bushnell boots. Now these are like work boots slash water resistant boots. Now the packaging said that these were supposed to be waterproof, but as soon as I got them in the water, let me step up here. So, this is like the fir well first or second time the first time i've ever took them in water and we got i got up into the water like right well like right here and it was doing just fine i was super excited that these boots are not going to leak and then as soon as i stepped over this little um stitch line water started leaking in so they aren't absolutely waterproof but i love these boots just to walk around in the pasture when you're not in water. So I recommend these if you aren't going to be in the water. These are great work boots. So thank you guys for watching the video and staying till the end to watch my boot review. I hope you guys go and try some new boots out and hopefully you got some advice from me. So guys, I'm going to go and wrap this video up. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.